I'm Matt Ruchinski for Hornets.com, being joined now by Grant Riller, the number 56 overall pick for the Charlotte Hornets in the 2020 NBA draft. Grant, let's just start there. How does that sound? Like the, the number 56 overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. That's just got to be surreal, isn't it? Yeah, it still sounds unbelievable when you say it like that. But uh, it's just exciting, man. I'm super blessed and fortunate enough to – uh, not only get picked, but uh, get picked by an organization like this. And uh, I'm just excited and ready to get to work. We are very excited to have you. There's no doubt about it. We know that there was a lot of buzz around you before the draft. And I, I love when we say buzz when we're the Hornets, you know, those, those buzz. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of buzz around you before the draft it, as a guy who was one of the best scorers in the draft and who could have potentially went higher than you were drafted. Especially when you look at the way – players have come out of mid-majors and really had an impact. Do you look at yourself and say, hey, if these guys can do that, this could be an opportunity to showcase that I can do this? Yeah, for sure. I've been looking at guys uh, that have been doing that for a while now, guys like Damian Lillard, uh, the Steph Currys, and, and the C.J. McCullums. Obviously, those are some of the most talented guys to do it. But um, just seeing guys like that um, throughout my years in college, uh, throughout my time growing up. So that's kind of what I always had put that – put that sign in my head that it's possible to, to go to a mid-major school and uh, find yourself in the NBA uh, organization in the NBA locker room. So um, I definitely use that as motivation and uh, I'm ready to, to carry my school and, and my city we're here with the Hornets organization. Now, uh, you know, we, I mentioned before when I had talked to you, you seem like a happy guy. You seem like you're always smiling so far from we, what we've got to know. Yeah. We don't know fully, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but overall, is this going to put a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? You know, when you come out of a mid-major, and do you feel like you have to kind of prove yourself a little more at this level? Uh, yeah, but I think me naturally just being a competitor, um, I'm, I've always been that kind, kind of way. Um, just a guy that wants to come in and prove himself. Uh, never been a guy to get any handouts growing up. Um, always had to prove myself at whatever level I was at. Um, and, and I'm excited I get to do it now at an NBA level uh, with NBA personnel and and stuff like that. So uh, I'll use it as fuel, but at the same time, uh, me naturally, I'm, I'm a natural competitive guy, and uh, that's how I am. And you have had your challenges. There's no doubt you had to deal with the injury early on in your career in the red shirt, and then you went to yes, uh, Charleston. Being a four-year player, how much more do you think that also benefits you as you prepare to make this jump to play at the NBA level? And, and listen, you got to make that jump in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it helps from just a, a mature standpoint um, and an experience standpoint. Uh, I'll start with the mature part. Um, I, I'm 23 years of age, going on 24 next year. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable with, with who I am as a person um, and as a player. Uh, so that's that's kind of what I mean by just being mature about every situation, uh, knowing the business side, knowing the basketball side, but uh, just being a pro about uh, every situation I'm in. Um, and then the experience side comes along with basketball and uh, just being around so many different guys um, in, in locker rooms throughout my entire career. But um, I've been in situations throughout games that um, – I've been in certain situations in games that maybe a young guy hasn't gone through um, as much because maybe he just took a different route um, or didn't spend as much time as I did in college. But um, over a five-year span, you go through so many different uh, situations in a game, uh, whether it's closed games – uh, blowouts, uh, learning experiences, and just stuff like that. So um, I know what it's like to be in the locker room with, with, a, with a bunch of different guys and uh, stuff like that. And uh, although I'm, I'm up there in age, I still feel like I'm, I'm pretty young and uh, got a lot to learn and improve on. Oh, and you might be a little older, but they ain't going to let you forget that you're a rookie. There's no doubt. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, let's talk about the draft room and what you can do on the court because – you know, you're a guy watching you. You love to play in the pick and roll, and you love to activate off the pick and roll. Got, you know, Mitch and the guys went out and got you a couple of other big bodies in this draft. Two of the guys you're walking around That's with you're visiting today. you got to be sure. pretty excited when you look at the roster and, and see how things are kind of shaped up with the youngsters that are on here and what you guys might have the ability to do. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to play with everybody and all the guys on the team. We have a young team. Um, a, a lot of athleticism all around the board uh, with, with all the guards um, and even the forwards and big as well. So um, a, guy that, a guy like me that likes to play fast pace, um, a guy that likes to play in transition um, and pick and roll, I think the personnel is 
a perfect fit for my play style. Um, and I feel like I can come in and, and help right away just by a standpoint of uh, being a good teammate, working hard, and uh, doing whatever I'm asked. Now, I also don't want our Hornets fans to get it confused. You're not just a scorer. You can also do other things. You like yes, to read. You like to get after it. You like to distribute the basketball. Can you just talk to our fans about your all-around game? Uh, yeah, so i kind of been labeled a scorer, uh, which isn't too bad of a label, but – um, I feel like I have a lot of different parts of my game that um, maybe I didn't get to showcase as much in college um, just because of what I had to do and what was asked of me. But um, I think if you go back and really deep dive into the film, uh, you can kind of see everything my game has to offer um, as far as uh, making other players better, uh, creating for others, um, as well as creating for myself, um, playing good defense, uh, playing in passing lanes, um, and it's time, trying to stick my nose in there as a, as a guard to, to try to help rebound and, and stuff like that. One thing I'm certain of, Mitch and Buzz and Michael and all those guys did that deep dive because they were pretty excited to get you where they got you and look at you as yes, nice as you were at 56. So we're really looking forward to seeing you take the court for the Hornets in 2020-21. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll make sure we catch up with you along the way. For Hornets.com, for Grant Riller, and Matt Ruchinski.